российские войны так вот у нас ходят на фронт причем после доктора блять за место госпитализации идем дальше воевать а? воды воды там это воз... там в этом вода есть вот. на костылях с палками непонятно к тебе чего воевать идут российские войны так вот у нас ходят на фронт причем после доктора блять за место госпитализации идем дальше воевать. Ай? Воды. Воды. Там <свят> это воз... Там в этом вода есть. Вот. На костылях, с палками. Непонятно. К тебе чего? Воевать идут. Охренеть! The news coming out of Russia is grim. Ukraine's attack on the Kursk region has attracted most attention, but the incursion also represents a symbolic blow. Other information coming out of Russia also suggests hard times ahead for Russians, writes William Pomerantz, a senior fellow at the Wilson Center, calling Russia the sick man of Eurasia. Kursk is a sacred place in Soviet military folklore where the Red Army won one of the most decisive and glorious victories of World War II. Today, Kursk is a symbol of military retreat and incompetence, exposing all the vulnerabilities that are now dragging Russia into this conflict of its own choosing. Deliberately comparing it to the Ottoman Empire, Russia today can be called the sick man of Eurasia. Russia is engaged in a war of attrition in which, despite its vaunted resilience, it now faces disaster on several fronts. The quick operation is now in its third year, and Moscow's only hope is that Ukraine is as exhausted as Russia. Putin has created a false narrative about the necessity of the conflict. In addition, Russia is going into battle with poorly trained conscripts who are now increasingly deserting. The FSB has used this opportunity to purge high-ranking generals against whom numerous criminal cases have been brought. The Defense Ministry is now headed by an economist with no military experience. His last advice was to rely on robots and AI, even though the standoff has left Russia with catastrophic losses in workers and engineers, as well as access to technology. Moreover, the loss of life, especially in a country experiencing a serious demographic crisis, only foreshadows future problems. The coming collapse Putin and the Russian state are at the height of a social explosion. The attack on Kursk may be one catalyst, but there are other potential triggers. A partial list includes the loss of its status as an energy superpower, rising food prices and labor shortages. 
Russia's economy is in shambles, with corporate bankruptcies on the rise and high interest rates for Russians seeking private loans. Putin's approval rating appears to have slipped significantly, seemingly escaping the heavy hand of Russia's censors. Finally, Russia will no longer be able to claim the fashionable title of an emerging market, but will essentially be off limits until the problems of all the deprivatized Western companies that Putin handed over to his cronies are resolved. It is no surprise that trust among Russian citizens is at an all-time low. Putin's inner circle includes relatives and his former bodyguard. The oligarchs seem to have no influence on government policy, and even the Russian press reports Putin's popularity is declining. Putin adds more responsibilities, but will likely only be blamed for weakening Russia's position.